Hi, I'm Jeremy Spicer, the Cocktail Critic, and today we are going to talk about how to make an incredible old school tiki drink, the Royal Hawaiian. This originated from the Mona Hotel in Honolulu around 1948. Now we're going to juice our pineapple and our lemon right here. So all I did was get some pineapple chunks and we're going to do one and a half pineapple juice and we're going to get a juice press, our stainless steel juice press that you can buy on Amazon or online various ways and cut up the pineapple or get pineapple chunks sometimes you can get pineapple chunks uh, already cut up that's an ounce fresh squeezed pineapple juice is absolutely incredible it's much less acidic than when it's sitting in, a, sitting in the refrigerator for a few weeks one and a half fresh squeezed pineapple juice. Now a half ounce lemon juice. You got to get one of these stainless steel citrus presses. It's phenomenal. The ones that are aluminum that have um, green or, or yellow coating some of that coating comes off. You don't want your paint in your, in your fruit. Okay, so we've got an ounce and a half pineapple juice, half ounce, a half ounce of lemon juice, and we're going to use orja. Orja is an almond um, syrup, but a lot of orja on the market has preservatives in it, propylene glycol or some funky stuff. This is made by Jennifer in San Francisco. She worked at Slanted Door, and now she works at Hardwater. She owns uh, the company Small Hand Foods, makes these fantastic syrups. This is Orja. Um, look at the ingredients she puts in this. Organic cane sugar, or organic lemon juice, almonds, brandy, orange blossom uh, water. I mean, this apricot kernels. This is excellent, excellent stuff. So I got Orja from Small Hand Foods. And I'm just going to add a, a, a bar spoonful. And we're going to do one and a half ounces of gin. You can do various gins in this. Um, I, I'm going to use Brokers because I'm a big fan of Brokers. You can use Beef Eater. Uh, I, I said use a London Dry Gin. My guess is that's probably what they were using back in 1948. So I'm going to use Brokers, which is a very good um, blend of botanicals and a, and a traditional London Dry um, situation. It's fantastic. We're going to do one and a half. Now you'll notice there's no ice in this glass. When I'm making drinks at home and I have the time, I like to put ice later. And that way I have more control of when it's melting and um, I don't have to worry about it, you know, dilute too much or anything like this. So now we're going to add ice. We're going to add a lot of ice. You find that I find that adding a lot of ice really actually helps the drink because you don't want to dilute. You just, I just like to have control of my dilution. I feel like when I put the ice in later, I have more control. So, you guys ready? Let's go. A lot of citrus. Shake it good. The soon gets really cold. We're killing the drink. We're diluting it perfectly. We're mixing up all the citrus to a job. The gin. And I'm going to take my frozen cocktail glass, my frozen cocktail glass right here. And a lot of times I do a double strain because I don't want the ice bits. This one I want the ice bits. It's just kind of a tiki thing, you know. The Royal Hawaiian. And you can garnish it however you please. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my zester right here. This I bought this on Amazon. Um, this was it's made in France. It's a it's either called a lemon zester or a lemon twist peeler. 
Um, and what it does, it peels these really cool, long, skinny spirals. I'll show you. I'm going to hold it over the drink so I get the essence or the oils from the peel. I don't know why bartenders peel their citrus away from the drink when they're making their twists. Spiral this around my spoon. We're going to get a little bit more oils off it. There you go, folks. The classic Tiki cocktail, 1948, Mona Hotel Honolulu, the Royal Hawaiian. Enjoy.